Thank you so much, all of you. Uh, it is a privilege uh, to be here tonight to open for Lady Gaga. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I, Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of president to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the office faithfully, the president the office of president of the, the United States. The office of president of the United States faithfully. And will, to the best of my ability, and will to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you, God. So help me, God. Congratulations, Mr. President. On January 20, 2009, history was made when the 44th man to be sworn in as the President of the United States of America was a black man by the name of Barack Hussein Obama. But just five months later, after this epic event, the new president-elect would make a proclamation that would, in its own right, carry a considerable weight of historic significance. Making good on his campaign claims, on Monday, June 1st of 2009, President Barack Obama made an official proclamation declaring June to be the National Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Pride Month, or LGBT for short. Obama proclaimed that he was proud to be the first president to appoint openly LGBT candidates to Senate confirmed positions in the first 100 days of an administration. And then to further solidify his stance as a champion for homosexual rights, he addressed the attendees at this year's 13th annual Human Rights Convention dinner on October 10th and made these disturbing statements. You will see a time in which we as a nation finally recognize relationships between two men or two women as just as real and admirable as relationships between a man and a woman. That's why I support ensuring that committed gay couples have the same rights and responsibilities afforded to any married couple in this country. I believe strongly in stopping laws designed to take rights away and passing laws that extend equal rights to gay couples. I've required all agencies in the federal government to extend as many federal benefits as possible to LGBT families as the current law allows, and I've called on Congress to repeal the so-called Defense of Marriage Act and to pass the Domestic Partners Benefit and Obligations Act. painful reminder of how important it is that we do so than the loss experienced by Dennis and Judy Shepard, whose son Matthew was stolen in a terrible act of violence 11 years ago. In May, I met with Judy, who's here tonight with her husband. I met her in the Oval Office, and I promised her that we were going to pass an inclusive hate crimes bill, a bill named for her son. This struggle has been long. Time and again we faced opposition, time and again the measure was defeated or delayed, but the shepherds never gave up. They turned tragedy into an unshakable commitment. Countless activists and organizers never gave up. You held vigils, you spoke out, year after year, Congress after Congress. The House passed the bill again this week, and I can announce that after more than a decade, this bill is set to pass, and I will sign it into law.
And once again, following through on his claims, on October 28th of 2009, Obama signed the Defense and Hate Crimes Bill, a bill in which the hate crimes legislation piggybacked on legislation that calls for tens of billions of dollars of defense spending cuts in such crucial economic times as these, which ensured its passage into law. Now about this time, some of you may be saying, well, what's really so wrong about all of Obama's statements and actions? I mean, aren't lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender individuals, aren't they people too? And Obama, well listen, he's just trying to stick up for them. Well, though it is true that these people are individuals, what is not true is that Obama is just trying to merely stick up for them. Though this may appear to be the case, in all actuality, Obama has a far more sinister plan in advocating the rights of homosexuals. Let me explain to you exactly what I'm talking about. But for me to do this, I must switch topics for a moment so that you can clearly see the big picture.